Hi, and welcome to this PowerShell quick tip video. This one will be a little bit different because it's not actually going to be covering a specific PowerShell commandlet, but more of a quick tip that we're going to be using PowerShell for to recover Wi-Fi passwords on our machine. Now, I'm going to be recovering a specific one, which is going to be from my personal hotspot on my phone. This way, I'm not exposing my home network to any type of attacks or vulnerabilities if someone knows where I'm located. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at all the profiles on the computer, selecting the one that we want to recover the password for and going ahead and showing our pass key or network key or password for that Wi-Fi network in clear text. And we can even export that to a text file, which I will be showing as well. Now, this should only be used to recover your own Wi-Fi passwords that you have forgotten and not to illegally obtain Wi-Fi passwords that you're not supposed to have access to. I just want to put that as a disclaimer. You don't need to run this as um, administrator. I've tested this. It does work running as a regular user. I am running as administrator right now but I have tested this on a separate machine running as just a regular user and it does work. It was able to show me all of the Wi-Fi information that I needed, uh, which can be quite useful. Maybe you don't remember your Wi-Fi password and a friend comes over and you lost that piece of paper. Or you can't find that piece of paper anymore. You can easily get it using these commands that I'm about to show you. Now, some of these commands will not be PowerShell commands. They will just be regular um, command shells um, commands like net sh. Um, but we are going to be using PowerShell for a lot of the automation afterwards. So we don't have to do stuff manually and type in a bunch of the names. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually uh, type in net sh space wlan space show space profiles. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to show us all of our Wi-Fi profiles on our computer right now. So as you can see, I have three of them. The one that I want to recover is this one here. It is the one from the iOS, as I said, just not to expose my home network password. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to pipe that. And this is where we're going to start using PowerShell. We're going to do a select dash string. And we're going to use the parameter of pattern. And we're going to be looking for the pattern of iOS, and we're gonna do the parameter of all matches. Now, what this is gonna do, if we run this, it is only gonna give me back now the iOS network. Now, if you wanted to run this command, if you wanted to get the password on all of your networks, you could just simply say all user profile here and run this, and you will get all the user profiles um, that you want for the Wi-Fi. Um, I like to kind of just inspect what profiles I can see. And then if you just need the one that you specifically need, just get that one. Remember, it's not a good idea to have those passwords stored in clear text on your computer in case someone gets access to them that you don't want to have access to them. So after the select string and after the all matches parameter, we're going to add another pipe and we're going to do a for each object here. And let me just use this here. And we on the for each object, we are just going to do a open curly bracket. And we're going to do an open and close parentheses. And we're going to do a dollar sign underscore. So this will fetch us the value coming from the pipe. And then we're going to do a space dash split. And we are going to split on the colon here. And the reason why we want to split on the colon is we just want the actual network name. We don't want this all user profile. And we also don't want this space. So what's going to happen here is we need to select the second element because we know um, when we do a split, it's going to split it. All user profile with all the space is going to be the first element. And then our well um, iOS network will be the second element. So we're going to just do a one here. And then we're going to do a dot trim open and close parentheses here. And that's going to trim all that white space. So if we go ahead and run this, we're going to see that all we get back is just our network name. Now, if we left out the dot trim, 
we're going to see if we run this, there's a little space at the beginning and that's going to cause issues if you don't get rid of it. So we're going to want to just do the trim here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add one more pipe and we're going to do a for each dash object again. And now we're going to do a set of curly brackets. Now we're going to do a net sh space w lan space show space profile very similar to the first line we wrote space name and we're going to say name equals a set of double quotes and then inside the double quotes we're going to put a dollar sign underscore and this is going to say everything coming from the pipe and we're going to do a space key equals clear and the key equals clear is outside of the quote so just make sure that the only thing that's inside of your double quotes is going to be the dollar sign underscore and if we actually go ahead and we run this here, we will see that we get our key content. And this is the password to my um, hotspot on my phone. So if I had forgotten it, I'd be easily able to get it back here. And then what you can even do is add another pipe and then do an out dash file. And then you can go ahead and let's just get the uh, folder location here. So let's uh, copy the path here. And let's say Wi-Fi info dot text. We go ahead and we run this. We're going to see that we get a Wi-Fi dot info, Wi-Fi info dot text here. And we can see all the information on this profile. And if we come into the security settings, you can see that it is a WPA2 personal password. And this is the password of the network. So you'd be able to give that to your friend or use that for your other devices or rewrite it down on a piece of paper. A lot of people have those pieces of paper directly um, stickered on their router or their modem. And then you'd be you'd actually have it recovered at least and be able to connect more devices to your Wi-Fi. Now, of course, this again still requires one computer that is a Windows computer to be connected to the Wi-Fi network already, but it does definitely let you retrieve that Wi-Fi key that you might have misplaced or forgotten, depending if you've actually set it or left it as the default from your internet service provider. Hopefully this helps you guys out recover some of your lost or forgotten network passwords and just maybe teaches you guys a little bit more on the NetSH and how you can actually combine PowerShell and just regular shell commands to be able to perform. You're not limited to only PowerShell commands. You can definitely do a combination of the two to be able to automate a little bit more things uh, that can help you out. If you guys have anything specific that you guys would like to see on these quick tip videos, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will do my best uh, to do every single one of them. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.